All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil, and I have some quick pieces of advice for you. These are three of the most important things I've ever, advice that I've gotten or advice that I want to share with you. So let's dive right in. If you can hear my cats causing a scene in my basement right now, I apologize. They are going crazy. Holy moly Dobby. I've never seen you move that fast. Let's go in. Number one, don't get caught up chasing the meta. Meta, meta, whatever you want to call it, don't get caught up chasing it. The top players in Grand Arena who are spending the crazy amounts of money, they can afford to do that. You, at a low, at anybody below that, you cannot afford to chase that. You cannot afford to chase the newest thing and expect to get the same results. Like my Tuscans, it's not that great, right? But we're not even on Tuscans anymore, right? You know, Zori Bliss isn't even in that, you know, discussion of like the, the meta right now because we're getting ready for Cal Kestis. So you can't afford to just constantly be trying to keep up with that meta and hoping that you're going to eventually get there because you won't. Like, think about, look, I've barely made progress. I haven't even made progress on Tuscan Warrior. These came free. Like, and we're already how many characters down the road and I'm just getting stars, you know, here. So I'm a long way off. And I think that's perfect proof of why you don't chase that meta is because someone who you guys look at me and think, wow, Phil's got so many resources. Like, I can't get this. I can't get farther, right? I can't get closer. So that's piece of advice number one. Piece of advice number two. Save in Grand Arenas, Territory Battles, Territory Wars. Save your big teams for your big fights. The amount of players I've been able to beat because they try to undershoot my Galactic Legends with an off-counter or they don't bring the right one because they're trying to play a little bit safe and they lose is astronomical. So what I mean by this is that let's say I set my Jabba the Hutt down and you could use Sith Eternal to maybe beat Jabba or you could use your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren who's probably going to beat Jabba. Use Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I understand that you might think, oh, well, Sith Eternal would be better trade off here, but you might end up two-shotting it or you might not even be being able to clear it at all without using Kylo again because whatever data crunch Jabba has is going to supercharge him. I mean, it goes on and on, but that's the whole point that I'm trying to make here eventually, right, you're going to get to this point where you might be wasting teams at something that you wouldn't have had to do had you just used your best character for that best fight. And that tactic has won me so many GACs, 100%. The amount of Grand Arenas you can win by simply just, you know, like that you, you save that biggest team for your biggest fight. Don't be afraid to use a Jedi Master Luke on Jedi Master Kenobi. Because, yes, Kenobi's better, but he's not that much better. All right, so the last piece of advice I want to give you guys has to do with um, mods. So give me one sec here because I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh, it's coming. Um, all right. Oh, here it goes. Hold on. Uh, it's, it's, it's flirting with me. It doesn't want to – I don't want to sneeze right now. Um, anyway, sidebar. Um, no, so with mods – you want to equip your mods. I know a lot of people say, no, you don't want to do this because it costs credits. And ugh. I equip all of my mods. I find it's 1,000 times easier to have mods on characters because my Tuscans, I don't have to switch their mods around for conquest. Or if I need Sith Assassin to survive or do anything, like I don't need to switch your mods around. You know, I you come down to some of these characters and you're thinking to yourself, man, like, is it really worth all those credits? The answer is yes. Because you're going to place your best mods on, on those characters. And then as you continue to progress, right, maybe my Tuscan Chieftain gets faster, faster, and faster. And his speed set moves to somebody who maybe needs speed, but I'm not willing to give them as much as I want Tuscan Chieftain to have. So it's really important that you understand the kind of penalty taker you are, right? It's penalty taker. Gosh, guys, I'm, it's getting late. I should really stop. Ugh. I... Oh my gosh, it's really going to depend on the kind of modding that you're doing, right? And the penalty, that's where it's coming in, and the penalty you're willing to face for equipping those mods and having to unequip them for those credits. Wow. Um, I don't even want to like watch this video back to figure out like how badly I just messed up there. I'm just going to let it play. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, it's a shorter video. I don't, I didn't think these, you know, this one took super, super long because they're not anything crazy, right? I mean, you save your big teams for your big fights. Don't get caught up chasing the meta. And then guys with mods, you've really got to just equip them to all your characters. It's so important. I understand it's going to cost you crystal or cost you credits, 
but in the long run, having them equipped is so much more valuable because you do some of these events, like I could do the Ewok event with the mods I have now. You, you know, you get to those things and you don't have to worry about constantly switching out because I think when you're constantly switching out your mods, it also gives you a false sense of accomplishment. It gives you a false sense of how good your mods really are. That's the video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. As always, smash that subscribe button, leave likes and leave comments. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I don't really know what we'll do yet. We're going to have to do something. Some people want to take Wampa to Relic 9. Others, I'm sure I'm going to want to take, um, I don't know, Bodhi Rook to Relic 9. I saw a really funny comment on the YouTube channel. Hold on, let me go find it. Oh my gosh, the cats are just nutso right now. Rearranged a little bit of furniture and they're pretending like it's WWE SmackDown versus Raw. Um, yeah, so it was from LM, Elemenope. And he says, Grats, Phil, well deserved. You're quite brave in letting people decide your next milestone relic. The Star Wars Galaxy of, Commu Galaxy of Heroes community consists of kind, generous, passionate, and caring people who will definitely make you relic the worst possible character they could think of. Gotta love them. And I, you know, guys, like that's, that's why you get to choose. So you guys, obviously I'll put out some polls. You guys can let me know what characters you guys want me to take to relic nine. We hit 10,000 subscribers because that is a huge milestone. And I cannot thank you guys all enough for the love and support. So smash that subscribe button, leave likes, leave comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know how badly I messed up in this too. It is super late. I am like drained this week and it's just only going to get harder from here on out. So uh, I love all you guys. May the force be with you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.